Hey, how's it going out there? I just like to start off by saying thanks. Thanks to everyone that's been subscribing, liking, commenting. It's helping the page, the channel, extremely. So thank you very much. We're at Target in Manahawka, New Jersey, and we're gonna see what they got on the shelves today. Cue the music. Starting right off, I just ran into some new DC multiverse here. So, let's see what we got. We got the black and white platinum edition of the uh, Magna Batman. So, that's pretty cool. They got a Connor Kent Superman. We got a Sergeant Rock. The regular Magna. Oh, look. This is a platinum chase. Sweet. Platinum Chase, Sergeant Rock, looking good. We got another. Oh, and we got the Platinum Edition, Connor Kent. So, pretty sweet. Looks like we got every, uh, every Platinum Edition for every figure and the regular. So, let's see what we got. There they are. Every Platinum. So, pretty good start. Not bad. It looks like we also have um, two bat flicks here, so they popped up out of nowhere. They also have this Spin Master um, Heath Ledger Joker looking really good. I mean, that's a good face sculpt on there. It's pretty sweet. So that's another new find. I don't see any others from this because I know that there's a uh, Dark Knight Batman but I don't see any Kristen Bales here, so. But there is Heath Ledger, looking good. Now they've really stocked up on the Roadblock Tripwire two-pack, this uh, Tiger Force two-pack. Last time I was here, there was two of them. Now they got a bunch, so. I grabbed one, maybe it was a little soon, but I really did like the pack a lot, so I went with it. They also stocked up on some of these Super 7 reaction figures, so. It's the first time I've seen this Deathstroke with the vac metal. So that's pretty sweet, actually. I mean, these are like 20 bucks, so they are pretty cool. Got a Snow Serpent. Saber Tooth from the Tiger Force. We got a Lady Jane. Bunch of other Lady Janes. And then uh, another Saber Tooth. So not bad, those are pretty sweet. We also got some of the smaller Simpson figures. No! Oh! Bunch of homers. They also have these um, stuffed uh, Simpsons figures here. Looking pretty sweet. Just like they did back in the 90s, redoing it like they were in the past. Oh yeah, they actually do have this too. They got the drag dog. <coughs> I actually had this when I was younger and had no idea who he was. And this looks a lot like the original, so they did a good job on this. Oh, this is pretty cool right here. It's the first time I'm seeing the Lucha Lowrider, which a lot of people have been liking out there. It comes with uh, basic Rey Mysterio. So nice car, wreckage, part of the wreckage play set. So it's pretty sweet, not bad at all. They also have this four pack coming in, in the wrestling. So, Booker T, Stone Cold, John Cena, and uh, Eddie Guerrero. So, it's a pretty cool pack. They have a bunch of figures from Series 23 of the Legends line. So, still got Hogan looking good. Looks like his glasses fell off. Big Bubba Rogers. Jamal. So, a lot more Jamal. And a lot more Jamal's. So, not bad. It looks like they don't have any more um, Undertaker, the Ultimate versions. So, let me tell you something, Mean Gene. We got the regular Cena, AJ Styles. So, pretty good selection for wrestling today. Not bad at all. 
they are stacked up now on these R5, D4, BD72, and the Pitroid packs. They got a bunch of them. So I'm going to play the long game for this. If they come down in the future, I'm going to have to grab some. This is pretty cool. This is the first time I'm seeing Turtles of Grey Skull Splinter Skull. So it's pretty sweet. The spiritual sensei. It's the first time I'm seeing that. Got another splinter. Yeah, they're all splinters, but that's the first time I'm actually seeing Splinter out in the wild. This ghost ship is just awesome. I mean, the detail that they put into this and everything else is just great. Like I said, those are the figures that come with it. In my last video, I was talking about this. And if you get the Phantom, you could get the whole crew. But Amazon's coming out with um, a special pack that has a ghost two Y rings and then the um, Phantom shuttle. So that might be the way to go because you get the whole crew and you get the extra ships for a pretty good bargain. So, but they're looking really good. I think the Amazon pack actually has battle damage on the ghost ship. So to make it a little different, but this is a sweet ship. This is awesome right here. Pure nostalgia. I had this when I was a kid. The old pizza thrower assault vehicle looking awesome. Looks exactly the way it did when I was a kid. But it's sweet how they're re-releasing all these old play sets. I mean, I saw that they're doing the Technodrome too. It's scaled down a little bit, but it still looks pretty sweet. But there it is. The old pizza thrower vehicle looking awesome. This is pretty sweet right here. I finally found the section that I saw that the other targets had. It looks like they only have one of the Batmobiles. I think this thing's like 70, yep, 79.99. So it lights up. It's the OG Batman the Animated Series Batmobile, so it's pretty sweet. Here's the Christian Bale Batman figure that I was talking about because the Heath Ledger was over at the other side, so that looks pretty nice for 9.99. There's also some um, gold label figures, these uh, Joker collection figures. Looking pretty cool. It's not my thing, but it is pretty nice to see him on the Batgirl. Joker eyes looking pretty sweet. And this is awesome right here. These Spin Master figures. This Batman Returns, Michael Keaton Batman, is looking awesome. Definitely going to pick this up today. I was looking for him, so they got the Batwing coming out too. Definitely going to get that, so it's sweet seeing all these older figures coming out. They also had the... Uh, Bean from the Dark Knight <laughs> trilogy. All right, so they were pretty stacked up there. I mean, that was a good hunt today. I ended up grabbing the uh, Batman from Batman Returns and the Bane figure from the Dark Knight Rises. So figured why not? $7.99 a piece and they both look good. The Michael Keaton Batman from the Batman Returns figure actually looks like he'll fit in perfect with my 89 Mattel version from the DC Multiverse when they did the smaller four inch figures so it's a good pickup not bad we're at ollie's now in tom's river new jersey and we're gonna go see if we can find them shelves here starting right off they actually have a electra daredevil so in the marvel retro style spider-man collection so that's looking pretty cool for 10 bucks not bad they are totally stocked up on these captain carter figures i mean totally stocked up so definitely enough to go around i also have a couple of these warrior gamoras and a lot of the same stuff that we always see in the marvel legend section so we got the killmonger from the what if wave ancient jimmy woo namor you know a lot of the same stuff that we normally have but that's what we got going on oh this is sweet right here these are new a couple more jada toys uh two packs with the figure and the vehicles they actually have the uh 89 Michael Keaton Batman with the 89 Batmobile, so that's pretty sweet. They also have the uh, classic TV series Batman and his Batmobile too, so it's pretty, pretty cool right there if you ask me myself. So I was actually, I might act actually grab this uh, 89 Batman with the Batmobile. It's pretty sweet. They also have some of the other bigger cars with the figures too that we've seen here before but if you haven't seen them these are 
what they got going on here. They also have these um, Wreck and Rampage rigs. So they're pricing in at $24.99, normally $29.99. So I don't know how much of a deal that is, but they got a bunch of them. This is new right here from the Buzz Lightyear movie or Lightyear, the Buzz Lightyear movie. $12.99 for um, the test launch ship. So it's pretty cool. Not bad for $12.99. You get a Buzz Lightyear and uh, shit, so it's a pretty sweet deal. I got some of these Mirrorverse Genies, some of the Dungeons and Dragons figures have been here for a while. Looks like they stocked up a little bit more on these Owlbear figures. They only have the white ones here. They don't have any of the uh, brown ones, but $9.99, that's a pretty good price for a deluxe figure. Here we go. We actually have some new Beast War figures. I remember watching this when I was a kid before middle school every morning but they do have some new ones so that's pretty sweet wolf fang bunch of wolf fangs yeah wolf fang this guy so they got a bunch of the beast wars transformers now these emperor figures just popped up they normally don't have or last time i was here they didn't have the emperor figure so they must have did some restocks on the archive wave but i don't see any other figures from the wave this is a really good figure for 9.99 i mean that's a perfect emperor they are re-releasing one that comes with the throne on amazon but this one's perfect they actually do have one captain carter shield for 59.99 so one of the what if shields. Let me see if I can get it out of here. So they do have one shield left. That's pretty sweet. They actually have a couple of these Marvel Rose figures down here too from the Spider-Man retro wave collection. Looking pretty sweet. But I think that's all that they have of these retro cards. Other than that, it looks like, oh, here we go. We actually have one of the super adaptoids, I think that's how you say it, in stock for $19.99. This is the last one that they have here, but it's a pretty cool mega figure for $19.99. Other than that, I think a lot of the, it's a lot of the same stuff that we normally see around here. So this is kind of newer, the Fortnite shark and new glider. So there are some new stuff. Well, that's what we got going on. Let's take a little stroll down to the comic book section. Let's see what we got going on down there. Maybe they got something new in. It looks like it's a lot of the same comics that they always have. But I'm going to do a quick run through just to show you what they got going on. So most of these are uh, $3.99, $4.99. Really good deal for a trade paperback. Some of them are hardcovers too, so the hardcovers are definitely better deals. They're normally a lot more. But this is what we got going on. A lot of the same stuff. Most of it's all good stuff though, so. Sixty-six Batman, yeah. It's a lot of the same stuff that they normally have. But like I said, a lot of this is all, a lot of this is good stuff. So definitely sweet. Always checking it out. All right. So that concludes today's hunt. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. Until we meet again. Peace. Let's go Let's go.